today we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da! You Orion. This is standard. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Today in the arena, what we're calling baby reanimator blue white azorius baby reanimator called so because this deck is similar to the mono blue haughty jin deck in how it tends to win games but different in some very key ways the big difference are the white cards that grace the deck with their amazing presence some the Wizards has been dialing a certain knob, right? These little reanimation spells, like Unearth back in the day was a very good one black mana, return something three or less to the battlefield, you could cycle it, right? Wizards is trying to get some of that back. They first printed Recommission, which returns target artifact or creature with mana value three or less from a graveyard to the battlefield. If it's a creature, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. It's pretty good for two mana. But when you think about like curving with it, it never makes sense, right? Because on curve, you're like, well, I put a one mana card in the graveyard. I get it back with a counter, no big deal. Or later in the game, you're just like, uh, I guess I get back my two mana, maybe three mana thing, but it's late in the game. And what if it got exiled? And what if I play Thalia and this isn't even a discount, right? So it doesn't make the cut in those white creature decks. Then they print Helping Hand, return target creature card, man, value three or less from graveyard to battlefield tapped as a sorcery, only one mana. They really want us to play this card straight out of Ixalan. They are trying to say, go ahead and reanimate some babies. Well, there are some creatures that are better reanimated when you have a few extra mana open. It's not your typical brainless curve out aggro deck. I just poked myself in the eye. <laughs> Keep rolling. CGB, why do you call the aggro decks brainless when you're the one who pokes yourself in the eye? No questions. Roll it. We're not reshooting. Uh, when you have mana open from asking a helping hand or a recommission, then after you get the hot gen, you can take advantage of its discount by casting things like Charter Course and free the Fae cheaper. Oh, I'm tearing up. And Monastery Mentor, if you cast two or three spells after reanimating it, you make a bunch of monks. So even if they remove it, they didn't accomplish much and you just get it back the next turn and they all have prowess and win you the game. Oh my God. All right, I gotta go flush my eye out. Blah. And uh, yeah. Uh, let's dive in. It's deck sweet. You're gonna love this video. Let the nonsense begin. First game of the new year. Don't make fun of my team if they get smashed. Hasn't happened yet. I still believe. Uh, and I've also made a new year's resolution for all of you. I will never lose a ranked game of Magic the Gathering again. That's the resolution. That's it. Doesn't matter if I'm on the draw. I'm just not ever, ever under any circumstances ever going to lose. And that's the way it is. Well, just going to keep every seven, going to win every game. No big deal. I'm the... My mama said, if you have nothing nice to say, and that's where we're at right now. Um, hmm. I guess we should consider because we need to slow him down. Sure. Hopefully we catch a three drop or a rage or something. But yeah, if we had hit a creature right there, we could helping hand it back. Go away. We need that. We definitely need that. Still too slow though. Still too slow. Could discard it, get it back, but it comes in tapped. That's a problem. Let's just run it out. Hope for the best. They're probably going to attack into it no matter what. And it gets exiled because etching of Kumano is a totally fine magic card. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Well, if they have that rage card, I can't win, right? So we should try this. Okay. We'll take that. We go to six. Leggy Shreddy. Gives us a blocker. Or we could helping hand... No, the Jin's exiled. Never mind. We gotta play Leggy Shreddy. And try to hit an untapped land. We get a few looks. That is not it. There it is. Pass. Hold on for dear life. That whole win every game thing is proving challenging. So giving them this back, we take one, but we also take one from etching and this costs more mana. So we'll block like this. Blazing Crescendo, got him. Not on my watch. Are we keeping that? No, we don't have any more time to spin wheels. We need to draw Monastery Mentor like right here. Etching's gone. Trigger. Come on. Well, the helping hand isn't getting anything if we can't fill our darn graveyard, but we do need counters on this. I'm going to hope to pick lock into it. Although this is utterly useless. Let's discard the land. Game is not going to be long enough for that land to matter. They're discarding drawing. Love that. Okay. Uh, big prankster here. Let's put something good in the graveyard. Let's get something good in the hand. Hey! I think we did it. I think we did exactly what we came to do. Bounce this, make a 1-1 one, one means I think we can attack. Phoenix Chick is a pain though. Yeah, we gotta start the clock though. We gotta kill him next turn. No choice. All right, throw down a Godric or something. Do we go to four? I think we go to four. Baiting, hoping this lets them dig even deeper. I don't think they can burn me out from there. Plus, well, combat trick. Of course we pass priority. We go to four. The Fading Hope can get us past this card, which is called Mistress Foundry. I mean, this helps use all of our mana. Is that enough to kill them though? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's one short. That's one damage short. We need better. March. All right, that's three one mana spells. We need one more. What are you doing? If they're keen, if they're dialed in, if they're the greatest mono red player. They may have realized I was doing lethal math there, and they have an opening there to do a removal spell. Like if they're holding lightning strike, right? But they're... and they know about this fading hope. Okay, we need a, something cheap. I think I put a mentor in the bin. I put a mentor in the bin. This will do. Also, more prowess triggers seem pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus three. It's not enough to threaten lethal right now, but we're going to attack. Hope they power that thing up, actually. Yeah, they're not going to. All right, then I am going to bounce this. Let these triggers resolve in case it is a lightning strike. Now everything is out of lightning strike range. They are taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 12. It's not enough. But we have the march. We have the march. So if they're going to Godric, it won't get there. Trigger is. 
digging. Digging for the burn spell. Can they get it? Can they get it? Felden, that won't do. What else? Double attack. <laughs> Get in front! <laughs> Nobody tramples over me. Bang. Phase it out. I guarantee you this is a lightning strike. It has to be. When have they ever... N Come on, just show it off. Oh, it's a Kamano! <laughs> I told you I made a New Year's resolution. You didn't believe. You thought I was going to lose that game, didn't you? But I've resolved not to. And resolve is the strongest power we have. I would like an easier game than the last one. It was a little stressful. Yeah, being on the play. Yeah, we can do that. Being on the play is sweet. We like those. It's a new year, and I want to make my opponent discard cards. Well, they don't know this yet. That, that buys into our strategy just a little. Let's be a prankster. It makes them afraid of make disappear when we don't do anything. Sure. Weak little 3-2. All right, no reanimation spell yet. We could run out the Jin, get it killed. Seems bad. Run out the Prankster. Eh. Then they try to kill it, we fading hope it, and then we do it again. Or we can just use, spin our wheels and try to find the answers that way. I like... Mm. So, let's see. Mono Black, right? Shield Rid's a card. Trespasser's a card. Braids is a card in this build, probably. Let's go for a prankster, because a prankster might generate card advantage through chart, of course, which is a card our opponent knows about. This is an awkward turn for them to use a cut down if they have a three drop. You might not want to do it. I'll take your underdog punch to the gut. Trespasser is a problem. It means we have to set it up so we discard and reanimate the thing all in one turn. Would, ra would rather they play to Braids. Come on. You listening to me? You listening to me right now? You, you up in my business? All right. Well, we still have a creature down there if we can find the reanimation. The question is, do we want to use a Fading Hope here? I think we do. You don't want to fall behind. Nah, not what we need to draw. Come on. Okay. Start with a sleight of hand. Let's see if we can just hit. Nope. Arr. All right. Well, we want to keep stuff in the graveyard. Let's run out this gin. Could have had a cost reduction that turn, which I probably shouldn't should have taken. I should have just played the Jin, attacked, and drawn two. Well, they have a removal spell, and they're trying to get a double block here. They will not get it. They didn't remove the Jin. Oh, maybe they're setting this hottie up for a cut down. That's what that exile was. I should just do this then. Well, if they don't remove this, it's a big deal. But if they play a Shieldred, we'll have to find another Fading Hope. No, it's just an underdog. And another Nightmare? Sure. Weird. Weird play style. So what was the whole point of the attack? I guess they don't have any removal. 
Ain't that something? All right. Still have a mentor down there. Nope. It's a hottie. In that case, let's start here. Recommission. Cool. We like that. Put some stuff in the graveyard. And now we clock them. Beautiful. Keep it up. Helping hand. But the graveyard is clean. Does free us up to do some blocking. The opponent might be dead. Come on, Mono Black. Don't tell me you have no removal spells. Come on. Too busy putting discard effects in your deck to, to kill creatures that threaten you? Is that what this is? Guess so. <laughs> Weak and pathetic. You did not know you were up against the unbeatable one. Today's Patreon shout out goes to Hunter Greg. Thank God I get to wear sunglasses because my eye is looking mono red after that little poke in the intro. Hunter Greg, thank you very much for supporting the channel on Patreon. If you would like a shout out in a video as well as some CGB tokens and other perks, check out the link in the description, patreon.com. Hunter Greg, you are cool. On the play, this hand looks great. We can discard a Jin on two and reanimate it on three. And hopefully we reveal more card draw, but our deck is mostly that. Shouldn't be too hard. Flap your wings. Flap your wings. That's a hip hop song, right? I'm cool. I'm hip. So majestic. Oh, okay. I can play now. Dig. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Get those on the bottom. This is fine. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if... Do you know what card's a problem? Frickin' Denik. Denik is a problem. Hold on to your butts. Denik makes it so we can't target things in our graveyard. I don't think our opponent has Denik. I think our opponent wouldn't play such a card. Oh, <laughs> they mill themselves. Lovely. Well, it begins. Check this out. When you get this card for cheap and you have mana up to do other things, well, that's value. Let it begin. I bet they try to respond with removal. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, good scry. All right, two lands on the bottom. Do I want a ledgy shreddy? I mean, threats are good, but we need spells here. We can always reanimate it later. Ah, oh my God, the land. Oh my God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've seen eight lands already. Woo, that's a lot. Anyway, gin them up. They are under siege. How will they respond? They will mill themselves. Oh yes, they will. They will mill themselves. What do you think they're trying to do here? What would you say is the plan? This... All right. Recommission gets a ledger shredder for now. I mean, are they a board wipe deck? I don't see any board wipes. We got to try to kill them. All right. Give me this shredder. We got to we got to try to hit him a little hard. We love a one mana spell and we got it. Probably should have on like yeah, in all honesty, I should have played the mentor not the jin. It would add damage to this attack. 
because of the extra prowess trigger. Oops, no board wipe. I mean, they're moving up. It's a new ladder. I'm literally playing it the day after the reset. They've moved up so far in rank. What does this deck do? I don't know. Our opponent claims to be a lethal viper, but they have a Borborygmos and Fibblethip avatar that I can't take seriously. I mean, this hand's slow, but we'll keep it. Throw some creatures in the bin with the prankster, and we did it. Green black. Green black what? Green black bat. Oh god. But my prankster. Yeah, we'll see what we'll see. Do they know what they should take? Are they aware? Most people have no idea what to do with this deck yet. In my limited experience. They did take the Fading Hope. One of the best things in a bat meta to combat it is just redundancy. A lot of your cards doing the same things. Another best thing to do in a bat meta is sweepers. When you top deck them and just blow up the bat, you get cards back. It's, it's awesome. Hey, there's a hottie. They have mana upped for removal. They definitely do. But, hey, we can get some great cost reduction out of this thing. They let that resolve. Interesting. Yeah, let's do this again then. While it's cheap. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, just keep discarding the creatures. Or we could count on finding a land next turn. We certainly did this turn, right? This is turn three. They went first. Yeah, we'll just find the land next turn. Children! Please no. Oh, they don't have double black. Never mind. That's where it's at. We might take the helping hand. It's another Jin. Would be a good choice. <laughs> they take the ledger shredder? I don't think they looked in my graveyard. Like I said, people don't know how to play against this deck. They don't know what's up. They don't understand. I'll make them understand. Probably going to have to cast this mentor next turn. Who cast this prankster to play around another edict? I like that. Save these spells to go with the mentor. Cut these bats off from their relentless assault. What a gamer! Here comes the mentor. Let's get some prowess triggers up in here. grab this but let's hold because Gix's command is a card and we'd love for them to misplay it I guess they can see this consider but you know make them do it also having prowess triggers on our turner is fun are we gonna do the part where you remove another thing shieldred in response I I have something I must do it's find another reanimation spell or fading hope. That's what I must do now. I think they were slow playing this Shieldred. 
Oh my god, two straight lands in that spot? Insane. What are you doing, deck? Uh... Seven. I mean, enough to trade with a Shieldred, but it does end our attempt to win the game here. Man, when this deck floods, it floods nasty. Uh, yeah, you got this. Looks like that playing out that prankster was the right play. All right, two bats, three removal spells, six lands, one children. That's a Golgari recipe if ever I've seen one. Death before they'll block with a bat. I mean, are you kidding? Does giving me a Ledger Shredder break your heart that bad? At the start of this video, I boasted in absolutely overconfident, baseless overconfident reasoning uh, that I would never lose a ranked game again. And as I conclude today's video, notably a little shorter than most, but that's because I have New Year's festivities to go to, not because I'm running away from competition. I want you to know, I am currently a beyond impressive, something most of you scrubs could never hope to emulate, 4-0 in ranked play. I have kept my New Year's resolution for approximately 13 hours and not lost a single game on the Magic the Gathering Arena ladder. That is longer the 90% of you scrubs who have already broken your resolutions to work out, eat better, stop drinking soda. <laughs> well, we're going to run this one to the moon. The moon, I say. Uh, this deck is sweet. I actually do think it is worth crafting and playing if you enjoy this play style. If you liked the other mono blue deck and, you know, that deck was super cheap four rare deck maybe you built up a lot of wild cards with it maybe you want to invest in some absolute high quality dual lands like wastes beach and sea chrome coast the best lands in the game and maybe if you're down to put some mythics on monastery mentor which is a hard move but i think that this deck is actually really going to surprise people i think it surprises our opponents i think it surprises me it will surprise you but yeah when you reanimate a mentor at the right time and then cast a few more spells you get ahead in a way that opponents often can't come back from it's not a control deck it's barely a tempo deck it's it's it, it, I don't know. It's a very powerful, like, mid-range combo deck, really. Like, it, it can take over a game a lot quicker than you think, or it can be set up, set up, set up, go. So, uh, I would craft this deck. I would play this deck. I do think this deck, it might get me to Mythic. I think it could get you to Mythic with some dedication. It's not always easy to play. It's also very difficult to look at your opening hand and kind of envision your path. Uh, try to always think about, okay, how am I going to get the haughty Jin and the mentor into a graveyard so I can reanimate it? How do I get my hands on a helping hand as opposed to, well, I don't do anything till turn three when I run out my Jin and it just dies. Sometimes you'll do that. A lot of times, though, you're digging to try to get a Jin in the graveyard. So just keep that in mind. One trick that almost came up in the mono black deck game that I wanted to do and share because it makes you feel smart is use a fading hope to bounce their trespasser discarding the Jin or the mentor and then reanimating it but i didn't find the reanimation spell till near the end like a turn later so it's the way it goes anyway i hope that you enjoyed this video i did happy new year thank you for watching this video as always i will see you in the next one go blue and you're cool message from cgbhq you play that yes we have the Covert Go Blue Dinosaur Rider playmat. You can get this sweet playmat and the sweet new token as well in a bundle at coolstuffinc.com slash CGB. That's Covert Go Blue HQ. Coolstuffinc.com slash CGB. Get yours today for the easy price of $19.99.